Victory Ripple XRP over SEC will cause an explosion in entire cryptocurrency. Is it possible to relist XRP on Coinbase? What will such an event lead to? We will answer these questions in today's video. The current price of XRP for today is zero. 35 US dollars, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 13600000 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 30% in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, has not been definitive over the past few days. Last week, the RSI held a neutral value of 50 as support, but recently this level has not passed. Thus, there may be some volatile dynamics during the weekend. Similarly, the Awesome Oscillator, AO, was also below zero. He has not yet shown a strong bearish impulse. The A-D line had a resistance zone that was directly overhead and was indicated by two dotted white lines. If A-D can overcome this region, it will be a sign of sustained demand for the XRP rally. The Directional Movement Index, DMI, showed the absence of a strong trend. ADX, yellow, it was at level 20, ADI just above the 20 mark. Technically, this indicated a bearish trend, but in general meant the absence of a significant trend over the past few days. The $0. 35 dash dollar zero. 36 range will be important to protect the bulls over the next day or two. The formation of a lower low below this area will signal bearish strength. Momentum indicators were inconclusive on the lower time frames. Bitcoin could also strongly influence the direction of XRP in the near future. According to Ripple's general counsel Stuart Alderotti, Ripple's defense against the SEC lawsuit may be the best chance for the cryptocurrency to achieve regulatory clarity. At the moment, Ripple has incurred more than $100 million in legal costs in its defense in the ongoing lawsuit against the SEC. Thanks at Nikki Kristoff for having me. Was great chatting with you on the generational changing promise of blockchain and crypto technology, all things at Ripple, the need for greater regulatory clarity, and even, beanie babies. Alderotti has often spoken about what he calls the abuse of authority by the SEC stating that SEC Chairman Gary Gensler took an aggressive regulatory stance instead of cooperating with other regulators. Alderotti also stated that the regulator wants to leave consumers to hold the bag, holding the bag, which in English means to abandon someone, make someone bear responsibility or blame, and not protect them. Gensler, who was confirmed as the new SEC Chairman in April, often states that he believes that the vast majority of cryptocurrencies are securities. The SEC chairman recently reiterated his position in the Squawk Box on CNBC, saying, the law is clear about this. I believe, based on the facts and circumstances, that most of these tokens are securities. Gensler further added, when a group of entrepreneurs collects money from the population and counts on profit, they need disclosure of information. The law is clear on this. I believe based on the facts and circumstances most of these tokens are securities, says SEC chair at Gary Gensler on hashtag crypto. When a group of entrepreneurs is raising money from the public and they're anticipating a profit, they need disclosure. Stuart Alderotti, Ripple's general counsel, criticized the SEC chairman after the latter distorted information that a Supreme Court review should determine whether a token is an unregistered security. In recent court moves, Ripple has responded to attempts by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission to prevent the two firms from filing brief reports on the case. The Securities and Exchange Commission has asked District Judge Annalisa Torres to reject Tapjetsync and iRemit Inc.'s requests to submit summaries in support of Ripple. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has filed several lawsuits against various firms and individuals for violating securities laws. In addition, Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, made various statements about the regulation of cryptocurrencies. Attorney John Deaton has repeatedly accused Gensler of his loose interpretation of the Securities Act. In an interview with CNBC, Becky Quick mentioned that the chairman of the CFTC said they should regulate some cryptocurrency-related assets along with the SEC. She added that the Securities and Exchange Commission has developed some precedents and cited several examples of people agreeing to settle a dispute with the agency. She added that these steps confirm that the SEC should have more control over the industry. To this, the SEC chairman replied that everything is clear in the law. He claims that based on the facts and circumstances, most tokens are securities. 
At the same time, he added that when a group of entrepreneurs collects money from the population and they all expect to profit from it, they need to disclose it. However, John Deaton, a lawyer who has amicus curiae, friend of the court, status in the XRP lawsuit, expressed concern about this statement. He said the SEC chairman is wrong about this. Gensler ignores two basic requirements stipulated by the law. Firstly, it ignores the general requirements for a common enterprise. Secondly, the SEC chairman ignores the non-investment use of tokens. If it is not acquired for investment, it is not a security. He added that the chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission is literally poisoning the public with cryptocurrency. Earlier, Deaton's lawyer commented on the SEC chairman's new interpretation of cryptocurrency regulation in the Kim Kardashian case. As a result, the American celebrity paid about $1.26 million in fines to settle the case. The lawyer added that the commission no longer speaks of cryptocurrency as digital securities. This term was used in the Ripple and LBRY case. Now the SEC chairman calls them crypto securities. In a recent tweet, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, expressed his outrage at the growing number of fraudulent bots on the popular platform. In addition, he can't believe that he still needs to report his copycats to the Twitter support service. He added that there are many verified fraudulent accounts on Twitter. These fraudulent accounts use the name of Garlinghouse, Vitalik Buterin, co-founder of Ethereum, and Changpeng Zhao, CEO of Binance, to write fraudulent cryptocurrency tweets. The CEO of Ripple is still waiting for some action, while a huge number of fraudulent accounts are using the platform. He also shared the email he received from Twitter. It mentions that a registered account does not indicate a violation of their identification policy. These fraudulent crypto accounts and Twitter bot responses have been noted by some crypt analysts and experts. These accounts posed as Binance CEOs and sent spam on Twitter. While Garlinghouse's image and name are used to distribute fake XRP tokens, Twitter, the social media giant, is embroiled in a lawsuit against Elon Musk over the rejection of a $44 billion acquisition deal. The richest man in the world claims that the social network provided inaccurate data on Twitter bots. It mentions that there are many more fake accounts running on the platform than the company estimates. Tapjets, an airline charter company, has joined iRemit with a request to provide a summary that will demonstrate the usefulness of the XRP token. Tapjets, a private jet transportation company, has asked the court to file an application to provide the Ripple blockchain company with a helping hand in its litigation with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. This letter to the court should show the usefulness of the token, which was recognized by the SEC as an unregistered security. Tapjets, which accepts XRP in exchange for its services, claims that such a payment option is vital because it allows you to book flights during non-business hours of banks, while not having restrictions on transactions for transfers. Thus, the company is able to provide its services in real time. In the offer letter, Tapjets insists that it has no financial relations with the defendants in the case. However, the company claims that it is interested in the outcome of the trial because it has invested in the technology. Tapjets claims that her business will eventually suffer losses if the court recognizes XRP as a security, which will probably prevent her from using the token. Tapjets is the only company that allows you to instantly book charter flights on private planes. Since the efficiency of using services is central to the company's business model, it needs to continue using the XRP token. iRemit, a Filipino money transfer company, has also applied to participate in the Amicus program to demonstrate the usefulness of XRP. What do you think are the prospects for XRP in 2023? Write your forecasts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos and do not forget about our contest, write in the XRP comments to add 500 XRP to your account.